Hello everyone, welcome to this video. You're here watching my spring favorite products and we're going to cover a lot of ground today ranging from of course the beauty favorites as well as little knickknacks in terms of body care as well as some lifestyle items too but this is a very special video because it is my first time doing a collaboration with crystal beauty if you guys don't know who she is i'll let her introduce herself towards the end of my video as well you can check out her favorites down in the information bar below this um, i've been watching her videos for a number of years now she does some great recommendations especially when it comes comes to products overseas from Asia. She focuses a lot on skincare and just something a little bit different than the usual um, products that you find in the drugstore in North America. She's a great source of information for things like that. So again, you can check her out at the end of this or down below in the information bar. But I thought we'd jump right in and share what have been my spring goodies. Now I think it's only appropriate that we start off with my favorite spring lipstick and happens to be what I'm wearing on my lips right this moment. It has that great fresh, punchy type of look to it. It's very impactful but yet doesn't overwhelm your whole makeup look as long as you keep everything else pretty simple like I have done today. In fact, this is a color I've worn quite frequently in a few videos uh, previously as well as in person and every time that I go out wearing this, someone compliments me on my lipstick choice and I think that's always a fabulous thing, right? So this one in particular is from CoverGirl of all brands. Now I gotta say within the past two years or maybe three years, CoverGirl has really stepped up their game in the drugstore realm. They've revamped a whole bunch of their formulations and put out some new products just a more fresh young and innovative approach to color cosmetics and with them doing the Vancouver Fashion Week that just happened previously I really got to see all of their products in action and really I feel like their items and their formulations and colors um, can translate very well into onto the catwalk as well as for everyday life so very impressed with the brand as a whole but this lipstick definitely got my attention now this is the CoverGirl Lip Perfection in number three 327 called Bombshell. I would say this is very similar in the way that it wears and looks to the MAC Impassioned. If that's something that you love, it's a lipstick that I used to love a lot and wore very frequently. And this one has that similar feel to it, although it's not in the same color family or the same tone. It's much more of a vibrant pink with a hint of I would say magenta maybe in that color family and this is something perfect if you just want to do one pop of color somewhere on your face or if you're wearing a neutral outfit and you just want a little bit of something to go along with it this one is absolutely just the perfect color for all skin tones but especially if you're fair and you're scared of wearing bright colors give this one a go wear as a stain or full on like I'm doing today Moving on then to my favorite spring blush and the one I've been reaching for quite frequently as an everyday blush color as well is this one by Benefit called Sugar Bomb. I'm pretty sure this is one you guys have seen before or have swatched in Sephora or at the Benefit booth but I find this to be a really versatile, easy to wear everyday color that has a bit of that spring feel to it. And what I mean is because the choice of um, colors in this blush quad I would say because there are actually four shades in here. We have a bit of a um, slightly warmer I would say dark peach bronze on one end as well as a tangerine shade as well as a peachy pink um, as well as a more kind of corally pink with a bit of a gold shot through it. I think this blush all together is very easy to wear. Not to mention it goes well with a variety of different um, color palettes if you're wearing something brighter for spring in your wardrobe or even with a bright lipstick like what I'm wearing right now. I just find this to be great. Just pop onto the cheeks. It has quite a good color payoff. The brush pretty easy to use. Um, if you're in a pinch, you can definitely go with this brush which comes along with the book with the blush. The brush that comes with the blush right here. And I would say for me, I've been using the pink peach as well as um, this one which is oops this one which has been more of a coral these two together most often but sometimes I will dip into the tangerine right there so easy to wear color very versatile has a tiny bit of a sheen to your skin a golden sheen but no glitter no um, obvious shimmer particles at that Next then, we have to talk about my favorite spring accessory and no surprise, I'm going straight for the shoes. And in fact, this choice might not be what you think about when I say spring accessory or even spring shoes, but these are by far my favorite pair of spring shoes. And you guys, if you know me in real life, you would have seen these shoes over and over and over again and probably question why I wear boots in the summer and spring season. But 
I have a reason for that. I find that boots are very easy to pair, especially something like this, like simple cowboy boots, no crazy embellishments. I can wear them with my jeans and just, you know, have them inside and just a little toe peeking out, very chic. I wear these for travel all the time. They're easy on and off at airport security. They're comfortable, but they're a little bit more put together. I often wear these with my sundresses in the summertime because they're easy. I can go to the beach and not get sand in my shoes. I can stomp around in the dirt. I can do all kinds of things. And I find it just to be a little different than wearing sandals all the time and these are absolutely my favorite pair of boots I've worn them to bits and pieces literally so if you guys have a great recommendation for a similar pair of boots like this in a similar color or design no crazy embellishments please let me know in the comments down below I'm dying for a new pair this one has been well loved but possibly time to retire however I do want to do a little sneaky add-on for the spring accessory because I think this pair of shoes is also absolutely fantastic and I, I haven't really seen anything like this in this price point and you guys are gonna love love this pair of shoes all right check them out these are actually from Walmart can you believe that comes in a fabulous faux blue suede right here royal blue color also comes in I believe a white and black as well as um, I think a coral and something similar possibly a pure white as well just these shoes so chic so simple very Zara-esque if you haven't noticed with a little ankle strap right here and I would say these are the best money you can spend this spring and summer for $16 Canadian over at Walmart if you don't have a Walmart near you go check out their online inventory I order mine online and in fact Walmart does free shipping across Canada so that's great size and wise if you're curious um, I would say size down if you can and add a little shoe pad in the front just to prevent your toes from slipping around as this little band tends to be a slightly looser than what I would like but overall fabulous pair of shoes for my favorite spring item. Onwards to my favorite spring perfume slash candle and I decided to go for the fragrance because I actually don't have a large candle selection as of yet but fragrances this one unexpected favorite especially for springtime this is by Britney Spears and it is called curious one of her earlier uh, fragrance launches that I got to say like most people I am NOT a huge fan of celebrity perfumes in general they tend to be very similar synthetic and nothing really interesting either really sugary sweet or too crazy musky you know where I'm going with this but this one I think will be unexpected and uh, for a lot of people if you have not given this a try a whiff over in the stores do just test it out you know no harm in testing things out and I think some of you guys might be really surprised by how fresh this smells it's a bit of an aquatic type of scent which is why I chose it for the spring season as well I love the design of the bottle very cute not too fro fro but you know it's a kind of a cute girly design I gotta say with the blue as well and the little um, heart gem right here but this has a favorite blend of mine which is white florals I love that I believe it also has a hint of magnolia possibly tuberose possibly lily I'll list all the um, scent and notes right down here for your convenience but I find this to be a rather fresh spring scent I don't like going for anything too heavy in the springtime because well it's just I don't know I think spring should be fresh and alive and um, not too crazy not too heavy that's how I think about spring scents and this one definitely fits the bill not the most long-lasting but you can keep spraying it on it's not very expensive and it doesn't give you a headache like I said so love this one unexpected favorite in terms of the fragrance department for spring next up we have my favorite spring fashion slash clothing item and I gotta say it has to be this new dress I've shown you guys in a previous haul video from forever 21 and their contemporary collection I love the simplistic chic design of this dress great um, mid-weight material feels comfortable but still has a little bit of structure to it I love the darting around the bust great fit even for someone petite like me without having to alter anything um, no crazy issues with the armhole no crazy issue with the neckline just sits nice and flat and this is in fact the dress that you guys saw in my previous uh, vlog when I attended the YouTube slash Google brand week conference this is what I wear for the interview um, and I think this actually goes great with another item I have in my wardrobe which is this H&M sweater this is a Angora blend sweater nice and warm and cozy little cardigan actually buttons up right here but the color palette 
these two just go so nicely together um this on top of the dress if you're feeling a little bit chilly that day and i just think that this dress is easy to wear not to mention goes well with a lot of different occasions not too long hits me just under the knees and i can wear this with heels with boots with flats anything i will show you guys this dress in action once more in a spring lookbook so if you love that or you would like to see it interested leave me a comment down below or give this video a thumbs up just to give me a little bit of feedback but you guys would definitely see this dress talking again. about a favorite spring body care product i think that spotlight has to go to this item here from soap and glory this is their heel genius amazing foot cream in fact i have reviewed this over on my blog so i'll pop the link down below for you guys so you can have a closer look at this this really surprised me and you know as you're watching this video you probably noticed there's a lot of surprising introductions in um display right here but again Definitely surprising because I always had the notion that foot cream, heel creams, things like that have to be thick and slightly greasy, even borderline uncomfortable to put on because that's maybe what you need in order to heal dry feet. But this surprised me in so many different ways. Now it is quite heavily scented compared to what I would like it to be, but again, that tends to be a soap and glory thing altogether within the brand. But it has a very lightweight, almost gel lotion consistency. Very smooth and easy and comfortable to use. I'll pop on some socks after putting this on post shower. Use it consistently for two to three days and my feet are great. They're back to their sandal worthy, presentable selves. And uh, I love this. It's been sitting on my nightstand every single day since I've gotten it. So fabulous product if you guys want something for your feet and getting them ready for the springtime. Spring nail polish. And in fact, I do not have a pastel on site because I love the idea of wearing a nude nail polish for springtime when you're wearing more colors in your wardrobe or even on your face in terms of makeup a nude polish doesn't compete with your other colors yet still you know gives a little something to your nails and my favorite color for my skin tone in particular is this which I'm wearing on my fingers right now just just to be able to show you guys on camera. And this is from e.l.f. called Innocent. Their $1 nail polish. Absolutely fantastic color. Now, some people might, you know, scoff at quality and it's $1, is it really good? This is not the most long lasting or hard wearing or fabulous nail polish in terms of the formulation. It's a good consistency, but it's a beautiful color and that's what I'm going for. So I actually don't mind that this doesn't wear as well as some of the higher end or more expensive brands but the shade i haven't found anything comparable that looks just beautiful on my skin it's absolutely perfect for your spring wardrobe so this will be my pick the elf innocent uh, nail polish in the skincare realm there's something i would definitely recommend that you guys get once the season starts turning warmer is not to neglect moisturization for your skin with the sun and with you guys being outside more often than probably during the winter it does wreak havoc on your skin and you tend to lose moisture so don't forget that even though the weather is warmer we still need to hydrate our skin and I would recommend getting something like this from Biotherm. This is their Aqua Source Deep Serum Deep Moisture Light Concentrate. This is again a very interesting product. It has um, a lot of moisture and it's a serum product that you layer after your toner if you use one or um, after your face wash if you don't use the toner and before your moisturizer so kind of sandwich that in between it acts as a great barrier between the outside world and your bare skin just really keeps my skin supple and hydrated it's very accessible over here in north america so easy to find it is a little bit more expensive i would say but it's a 50 milliliter bottle and has a tiny bit of a pearl luminescence to it for your skin does not Feel greasy important does not feel greasy at all even for combination skin if you have very oily skin i might just test this out first before going for it but otherwise really nice product for the spring season and to keep your skin nice and supple smooth hydrated which is definitely what now you I need now i finally get to talk to you guys about one of my favorite home slash lifestyle items and that actually comes from ikea now i was browsing ikea and i saw these little red metal glazed pots now you can use them for a variety of different purposes i've got them here with some faux flowers this actually sits next to my bed under my bedside lamp and i actually have hidden in the back a flashlight a bath and body works body cream and usually my heel genius pops in the back as well but from the front side you just see the faux flowers these are actually uh, from ikea i have a few of them around my room and they come in white as well which tends to be the more popular color option but i think the red adds a splash of something different to your um, home or just to your living room bedroom whatever that you decide to 
could put this. They're a great size for potted plants as well as for some knickknacks like I have done here. And these are actually the IKEA metal pots called the Skuar, S-K-U-R-A-R. And uh, very inexpensive, very easy to incorporate into your home decor and just affordable, I think. Affordable, nice, cute, easy with a little scallop lace edge, but they're metal, they don't rust, you can use them outdoors, indoors. Fabulous. I really love these guys. I've really been looking for the right opportunity to bring this up. So now you know about them, do check them out if you now haven't lastly, already. Now lastly, Crystal and I decided that we would add in one kind of extra bonus item that we want to include that's fitting for spring. And for me, I would have to say it definitely has to be my everyday planner slash journal, scheduler, whatever that you tend to call yours. But I bought this earlier in the year and I've just been loving it so, so much. Again, never the opportunity to really bring this up, but here we go in this video. I'm so glad I get to talk about this because I love it. Um, it's a perfect size for me, especially if you're someone who tends to have a lot of things to jot down all at once, you have to do checklists and you need some extra space, whereas a smaller schedule or calendar wouldn't do that for you. Of course, I know some of you guys are very much into the high tech, do it on your phone, do it on your tablet, do it on your computer using apps. I love the old school pen, pencil, notebook, paper, the tactile quality of it. That's just my little thing. So I love spending the extra money on a very nice looking organizer for your everyday activities, for blogging things, I keep them in here as well. Now there are a number of different colors for this. This does go for the whole year, nice and thick. And I love the layout of this. And I think that's really important when you're looking for an everyday schedule or planner. So I'll flip to an empty page to show you guys. It comes in um, a two-sided weekly layout. So we have Monday all the way to Sunday right here. And we have two blank sections on the bottom, which I usually use for my um, blog post planning, what I need to photograph, what I need to review and write about and different ideas. I do blog stuff on here and I do the everyday um, life things up on here so they're all integrated into one nice page. Also they have in here the monthly sections which this is the June 2014 next month and you guys can see I have little stickers on here. I can mark stuff. I need to cut my hair. So book a hair appointment. But it's just nice little squares. They're large enough. You can write things in here. Multiple things. I color code things. I do little doodles and designs. And just make it, dress it up, you know. Nice and fun. If you're using it every day, I think it should really make you happy. That's really important. Um, also on kind of the back, there's a little pocket that you can keep your notes or your receipts or anything important that you don't want to lose when you're scheduling things. And for me, it's a nice notebook size. Good quality it's about 25 possibly 30 dollars because i did order this all the way from korea but absolutely worth it if you split this between the whole year and you love it every day and you use it every day this has to be my favorite spring item just because of the color and also the fact that i use it so all that's the time. it everyone these are all of my favorite spring items from beauty products to lifestyle things i hope you found something interesting something new you haven't seen or heard about before i'll put the links to everything that i can find or something similar or equivalent down below in the information bar if you're curious about them feel free to ask questions leave comments i love to communicate and just have a little chat with you about what you're loving for this season now of course because this is a collaboration video with crystal beauty i'll move it on to crystal and let her introduce herself